Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And happy Halloween. I told you guys I would wear some sort of costume in this month's favorites video. So I grabbed the old devil horns and here we are. I will say the amount of products I have to talk about this month are extremely small. I don't have a lot to talk about. I think it's because October has been one of the most busy months for myself and Scott but it's also been one of the best months ever. I was talking to Scott this morning about how just great this month has been. It's just been such a good month. And then we have like the month of November sitting in between us and the vacation right now. So we had a really good month, but having a good month also meant I didn't get to sit down, play with a lot of beauty products. I just didn't have time. I kind of had to just stick with what I knew, what I liked. However, I do have a few products here to talk about that I've been using not only this month, but some of these I've been using the last three plus months that I've been waiting to talk to you guys about, especially because I try to tread lightly when it comes to skincare, but I've had great progress with my acne. So I'm gonna talk about those products at the end of this video. But for right now, let's start with some makeup. So if you guys wanna see what I've been loving the month of October, then keep on watching. Let's go. So the first product I wanna talk about today is the blush I'm wearing. And it is the blush that came in the Ofra Madison Miller palette. So I did receive this in last month's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, and it comes with one blush and two highlighters. Now, Ofra highlighters, I love. I've talked about them a million times. These are two new shades, but I've never tried a single blush from Ofra before. And I have to laugh because the morning I'm filming this, I watched Samantha March's video talking about her September favorites and she literally had this blush in her favorites video and I had to agree I've never tried the blushes before from Ofra but this is just a fantastic blush I love the shade I believe it's called sweet stuff I actually used ipsy points and redeemed for another one of these palettes plus I also redeemed for the single blush because I wanted to grab them so I could put them aside for a giveaway because the products are just so good I believe this palette is in the 30s so not everyone can afford that so i wanted to make sure i used my points and grabbed it for you guys but i am a big fan of this i think madison did a really good job putting a collection together with ofra and i feel like ofra is just one of those brands that does it right for sure okay the next product i want to talk about is this highlight i've been wearing when i say i don't know if i used another highlighter this entire month besides this highlighter i am not exaggerating i am so obsessed so before we talk about it just look at how it just sinks into my skin and just, oh, it's so beautiful. I cannot stop wearing it. And I am so sad also because it's a discontinued product. It is the Glam Glow Glow Powder Highlighter. So all I do is I just swirl my brush in the middle of these two highlighters and I just douse myself in it. And it is just it just looks like I have healthy glowy skin and I believe it's because this product has hyaluronic acid in it. I did pay $20 for this at TJ Maxx, but it was $20 well spent. My hope is that Glam Glow continues to make this formula, but instead of selling it maybe in a trio, maybe they just start putting out in singles because it is such a good product. Like if they could maybe pull away from skincare and start doing more products like this that have, you know, hyaluronic acid in it, like, I would be down with it. I would try it. I would pay full price for it because, oh, my bow is falling off. <laughs> but yes, I'm basically telling you, if you do see this in store for sale, it's just magical and looks like so natural in person. And just, I'm obsessed. I can't, like every time I put on highlighter, I'm like, oh, I should put something different on and then I still use this. Now we can talk about the expensive lip gloss I'm wearing. I like lip gloss, but the amount of lip gloss wearage I've had this month with this one specific lip gloss is so out of my comfort zone. I am usually like a liquid lipstick girl because I don't want to have to worry about reapplying, but this sample I got from Sephora, I cannot stop wearing. It is the Hourglass lip gloss in the shade Sublime. This stuff is $30 full price. It hurts. It hurts to think about. It is so comfortable. I would say that this is almost a lip balm the way it feels. It does not get sticky. It just, it just feels so nice. And it upsets me because why did I have to have these feelings about this lip gloss? Like, I'm like annoyed that I like it so much, but like, it's true. I love it. 
It's what I wore to Creator Day. It's literally the only lip product I wore that entire weekend in New York because applying it, I never had to like be in front of a mirror. I just could take it out, go like this a little, mm -hmm. and I could continue doing whatever I was doing. It was conveniently convenient for sure. Now I wanted to talk about an application style I've kind of been delving into lately that I didn't invent. I forget where I got this idea from, but it works. So. I'm not great at self tanning in case anyone here doesn't know that, but I have found a way that helps me with tanning my feet and my hands. And it is this, this is the Farah 40 F brush. This came in some brush set I got from Ipsy a while back, but it's like, it's a stipple brush, but it's like a weird shape stipple brush that I just never used until I saw someone say that they use this kind of brush with their self tanner and it really helps get in like the crevices. And what I have found since using this when I self tan is just like, instead of using a mitt where you just kind of wipe and it just like leaves like a layer. When I use this, it does a better job like coating the sides of the fingers so it doesn't have such abrasive lines with my tan. Same thing can be said about the toes. I just wanted to let you know that this is a thing and it actually helps, so. There you have it. If you know me, you know I have strong opinions on room sprays. Very strong opinions. I found one that I really like. Now, I'm not saying this is like a bathroom spray. I'm saying like this is a really good room spray. Say you like someone's coming over and you want to light a candle and have your house smell beautiful, but you don't have time for that candle to fill your house with joy. I really love this. This is from the brand Glade. It's a limited edition scent. It's the toasted pumpkin spice scent. I fully used up the candle scent of this and it is fantastic. Fantastic, great throw, great product. I bought this at Target. This costs 99 cents. I thought it was like on the wrong shelf. I thought it was pr not properly labeled, but it costs 99 cents. I just, I just like need to look at the app just to confirm that I'm not making this up. Yep, there it is, 99 cents, all right on the app. This, you can like spray a room and it will fill your house with the most beautiful. So it's heirloom pumpkin, caramel and spice. It just is the most fall scent. It fills the room. I mean, it's fantastic. Interesting, it says this can is recyclable. Usually aerosols are not recyclable. I am impressed. That is very cool. Basically, I cannot believe this was 99 cents. This is, this will take me forever to use up, but it's a great scent. I am very happy that I bought it. If this had not said 99 cents, I would have never bought it because I would have just been like, whatever, whatever. But I was like, why is it only 99 cents? It's a great purchase. I'm very happy with it. Now we can talk about my skin. <sighs> okay, so when I was 29, I kind of really started getting bad acne on my cheeks and my chin, which I had never had in my entire life. I tried a lot of skincare. A lot of it didn't work. I went to a dermatologist. They prescribed me stuff that was not working. So I started doing my own research on the internet and I tried a couple things that I thought might work. And I found that these two things paired together were what helped me get rid of my cystic acne. So it wasn't something that was like externally breaking me out. It was all under the skin. It was all very painful. And my skin has completely cleared up. Like I don't have any acne on my face right now. I just have like redness, which I'm working on figuring out how to get rid of that. But the two products that have worked and helped are controversial products. So I have been nervous to make this video because I'm probably going to make somebody mad by saying these are the products that helped me. But one of the products is a vitamin. Now, I have never been very good at taking vitamins. I never really <laughs> knew if they worked, but I bought this about a year ago and then I didn't use it. And then I really started using it about three months ago and I would do like tests like don't take it, take it, like to see like if I could see the changes and I could. It's the Halo Beauty Kiwi Seed Booster. Now I have the old packaging, but I do have the newer on like vegan formula. I did sign up for the, the subscription. So I just get a little packet of them and I just refill this bottle. This stuff helped clear my skin up so well. And <laughs> I didn't think that it was real until I started to see the results. And I also started using an oil, which 
I originally learned about from Samantha Ravendahl, and it's the Sunday Riley UFO Facial Oil. Now, I have used quite a lot of this, and this is the half a fluid ounce, so this is their smaller size. I only bought the smaller size because I didn't want to fully invest in an $80 oil that didn't work, so I did buy the smaller one. These two together completely cleared up my skin. Now, I feel nervous because Sunday Riley is in a lot of trouble with the FTC for having employees of the company post fake reviews on their website. And you know, I don't understand why they did that because I've used tons of Sunday Riley products and they're very good quality. They work really well. I don't know why they felt the need to do that. I don't want to get into that drama, <laughs> but I just want to say like nobody's acne is the same as another person's acne. I know everyone, it's a different journey, clearing it up. But as somebody who's been experiencing this for a while, I wanted to let you know that these combined, this is what has helped me. I don't know if it will help you. I, I'm i just telling you what works for me. Another product I used that was a favorite a few months ago is this Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow Night Serum. It is an AHA. When I use this, I do not use this. I do not use these. Uh, at the same time so I'll use this one maybe once or twice a week this is kind of what's been doing it for me lately like I said I don't I didn't want to make like a big stink about all the controversies behind all these products but that's what's been doing this thing a really good service so yeah those were my favorites this month not a lot to talk about but a lot of good stuff to talk about I mean the highlight I can't stop looking at it and yeah you can let me know what you guys have been loving this month hopefully November I should be getting back on board of uh, the train, as they say. Yep, that is it for this month's video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.